Okay, so that was how to configure your mover with the choreography designer system. So now the group formation system. When you res your controller, it already says controller number one, and that means that all the numbers on the spots are the dance numbers in your performance director. You must wear the group formation system HUD with the performance director and you can actively use these buttons while you play a sequence or the roll dances. You can use all these uh, your formations and your rotations and movements and everything actively while you do it or you can create a recording and this is the coolest thing with the uh, group formation system is you you do this all before your show. Um, you would create a recording, load the recording with here, and then when it's loaded, it's ready to go. And you press play, and your routine, uh, your dance sequence will play while the movement plays at the same time. So if I res uh, three, let's res three movers, you will see that the spots come out and they'll have the numbers over top of them and these will be the dancer numbers already and uh, all you would have to do is assign the animations to the dancer numbers in your performance director note card but say I wanted to have uh, another controller and the other controller I want to mirror what these three do and uh, I can't give them the same numbers. If I put another controller out there, it's the numbers are still going to say one, two, three, and I don't want that. I want four, five, six. So let's derez that. And what I'm going to do is just uh, sh hold shift and drag, and I'm going to move that over there. And as you can see, of course, it says controller number one. So I need to go into the configuration card and make this controller number two. And these are the commands, um, the bottom of each one of these little paragraphs is the command and above them will say briefly what it does. So what I want is to mirror, so it's going to be exactly opposite the movements and this gives a nice symmetry on stage. So I'm going to remove the pound sign and make sure that that command is active. This controller number is already active because it doesn't have a pound sign and I'm going to make that controller number two. I could even have a third controller and that would be controller number three and the spots are all going to be consecutive, consecutively numbered as they come out. So when I save that, you give it a second to reset and that's going to say now it's mirrored and controller number two. So now if I res three spots on each, out they come and there we go and they are mirrored. One, two, three, four, five, six. If I do a uh, slash, you'll see that they are indeed mirrored. So they're going opposite and you just have to be careful with the way that you, you have to know when you do the performance um, director uh, what numbers are where if you want them all to do if you want them to do different animations like here in the front I'm gonna do if I wanted for these two people in the front to be the lead dancers and these two the backup it's gonna be one and four so just pay attention to the to the dancer numbers as you go to create your sequences so uh, let's derez those and I will do another video on the uh, working with the uh, group formation system and the performance because they work really cool together and um, I'll show you, I'll redo the video on um, the recordings and working with performance directors. So 
uh, the next video will be starting the performance director note card and assigning groups and the features that are available to you with the uh, PD. So, all right, thank you for watching. Bye.